there we go. <coughs> I'll take my glasses off, but I've got my other ones underneath, so I can't be bothered. But hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am on my local stream, and uh, we had a bit of rain the other week, so I was come to the conclusion that the river or the stream was going to be really high, and it's not. So what I've actually done is I bought my ultralight spinning gear down, some split shot hooks, and some worms. And I tried sight fishing some fish um, with some worms and I'm, I don't know, half an hour into it and caught one little one, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the stream's way lower than what I expected. I thought it was going to be high. And there's an eel in front of me. But um, yeah, nah, the stream's not high at all, it's really low, so. But we're going kind to of get, we're going to keep continuing, see if we can catch another trout. But yeah, pretty enjoyable day, nice and warm. Yeah, we're going to get into it. So Jones, there we go. We are down, and the stream is way lower than what I thought it was going to be. Is this going to be a rookie move? Or is this going to be an all right move? All right, let's get up to the top and find some fish. So today, I am doing something that I've never done on the channel before. And that is trying to sight fish these trout in the stream with worms. Yes, I said that correctly. Worms. Now, I'm not much of a bait fisherman. In fact, I'm not a bait fisherman. But we had a lot of rain over the past few days and it flooded the stream till its breaking point. Oh. Right, right. And these fish are gorging themselves on worms. But the streams dropped that that much that I'm quite shocked. So I've got some worms. I'm gonna try sight fish some trout. So let's see what happens. Right, before I get any further, I'm gonna put on a new leader on my braid. I went fishing yesterday at the river up the gorge and caught a few nice fish caught a perch and a trout, hooked a few more, but um, they got off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting some four pound fluoro on. These fish in here are pretty spooky. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put four pound on and see what happens. So got my braid and got my leader. I'm gonna put some four pound on. And then I'm going to set up my split shot and little hook. Right, I think with my leader I'm going to make it pretty long. Just due to the fact that these fish are pretty spooky. So I brought my little four piece ultralight with me today. It's a good wee rod for small water. And then I got my surtate, which is good um, real all round. So. But yeah, I wanted to make my leader really long just so they don't seem a joining knot or anything. And then I've got some black magic hooks here, a few small ones, which will do it. Size 10. And yeah, do a uni knot. And then I think I have my split shot about there. I've <coughs> got a few small split shots in my bag as it is, so. I think one will do because it's pretty shallow in here so we don't really need too much. There we go. One little split shot and a hook. And I've got worms already so let's go. Got that all set up. Me bag of goodies. Me worms down in there. Right. Now we just go find the fish which I don't think will be too hard. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do this. It's pretty warm too. I think it'll be like mid 20 degrees. So they might be hanging around the edges, which is good because I've got my spin rod and that makes it pretty handy. Keep hydrated too. Let's go find ourselves a fish. Right, I found a fish sitting up on the edge of this ripple here 
I'm in a good spot, so I'm gonna get me worms out. Choose a good worm. It's moving pretty pretty easily for food too, so what we will we will select a worm. Put a bunch of them on the hook. Yeah, we've only got four pound on, so. Well guys, I don't think it's actually a fish. No, it's not. It's a paper bag. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought was a fish, and no, it's not. <clears throat> Still got me worms out. That's alright. Well, it was a good test for me, for my eyes. Just keep going upstream. Where are you, fishy? Are you ready somewhere? No trout can say no to a worm. It's a proven fact. Well, not really, but last time I was here, there's two trout in this hole. So, maybe they're still in here. Who knows? I can see in here pretty good. Just gotta keep an eye out. Because I know the bank goes underneath here. I can't see anything. Hmm. Weird. Well, I'm gonna keep walking and see if I can come across the fish. I may as well get down here because it saves me from getting down anywhere else. There is a little run here too, so I don't know, we'll keep, keep going. We may not get anything, we might, but you never know. We might actually see a fish. I'm not sure. Got him. Knew there was a fish there. Not very big, but yeah, little fella. I knew there was a fish. I can see him swinging, like, eating stuff. He's only small, but still. He's actually the smallest fish I've ever caught out of here. Look at that. Only a little guy. <clears throat> that Look at that. Hey? Okay. Little fishy. And the little worm. Little stream brownie. He's got to be the smallest one I've ever caught out. He's the smallest one I've ever caught out of here, for sure. Um, but condition-wise, like, he's a pretty cool looking wee fish. Fat, healthy, he'll be browning and he's just up there. Look at that. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, little guy. Oh, well. Off the mark, he's just sitting in behind a rock. So I was like, ah, oh, there we go. And that was a fish. Cool. No, there might be. It's kind of pretty much our last shot in this hole. Um, I haven't seen any fish upstream of here yet, or ever. So. 
there's a fish in here, let's hope we can catch it. No, no trout in there. Wow, that was a uh, uh, somewhat successful little mission. I've never um, fished worms for, oh, for years actually. So it's quite an experience that brought back little childhood memories and stuff like that. So it's quite cool. Oh well team, I'm going to wrap this video up here guys. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It's getting pretty windy now, so I'm going to head home and edit a few videos for you for the YouTube. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Yo!